How you doing there? All right. Awake now. Are you awake? Yeah. All right. So uh, let me amend this off of Jump Street, right? <laughs> Lower the volume. I got stuff in the way. There you go. All right. So let me amend this first and uh, foremost. Last time, the young, lovely Veronica was on channel. I was so focused on getting out this contest stuff. Which that I'm so, and we barely snuck in. Two seconds longer, they would have chopped the video in half yep. and it would have gone in the trash can, right? So, uh, last time, I didn't say her name. It's uh, Veronica. Veronica. Hola, Veronica. Hola. Okay, and so tonight, there's dr a drawing. So, uh, I don't have a Vanna White. I have a Veronica Blanca. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, forgive this lampage right here and glares and what have you. It just mm makes you look holy. New camera angle. We're going to try to sneak us in. All right, so I guess let's get the cliche rigmarole out. Uh, what's on the, um, everything? This is the full circle. <laughs> Things coming together, right? So uh, VCLT started all this, right? And so in the background is Mars Volta right here where the thumb is. So cheers to that. Cheers to a very generous individual, uh, Randall Weaver in the vinyl community. Super awesome to send me uh, two of my grails also. Bet the B-Side Records mm -hmm. hit me uh, with some soundtracks, one of which is soon to be framed and replacing something on the wall, but I can't replace what's on the wall because that's part of her contest oh. entry coming soon. Okay. All right, so, and then I guess the other cliche we're gonna roll is, um, I am drinking a uh, gin and tonic. Why is my gin blue? Because it's Magellan. Iris flavored gin with natural flavors. It's actually blue. That's not the bottle. That's the li uh, the liquid. It's a very pretty blue. Yeah, it was that it's just stained with iris petals. What and am so I drinking? You are drinking. Uh, <laughs> La gritona. <laughs> <laughs> Can you translate that? Uh, it's like the screaming woman. So it's basically my drink, really. Yeah, screaming woman is accurate. So uh, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. But so pineapple and uh, tequila for the lady. Gin and tonic for this uh, burly bro right here. A squeeze. <laughs> and a cheese. <laughs> and a squeeze. <laughs> so let's get after it. This is going to come into play. But before we do, got some names on paper. We'll get to that. So I was drawing a VCLT. I had a, pro I had a contest with three uh, prizes, right? And so one guy was having a back and forth with, it wasn't going well, technology was against us. <laughs> Good news is, uh, reverse the polarity and I got in touch. Uh, after this drawing, when I send out the next pr uh, the prize to this second chance, uh, he's got his gift coming too, and I'm still gonna honor that, and I'm gonna honor this. So if you guys don't watch these videos, you gotta pay attention to me, right? Because uh, if I got an upgrade, dude, I'm willing to give out the other one. I don't need to trade it for money. And if I have a digital download card, it's yours if you want it. I don't use it. So you, you need to pay attention. And um, Beth at B-Side Records, who do her contest, mine's coming in the very near future, um, I had the Ron Haggerty. Sevens. You know, I was shooting sevens, right? I'm a winner. You know? So uh, I had the little hidden thing. You gotta read my little descriptions, right? Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes I clown myself or call out a mistake or send a link or whatever. But it was about the sevens, and I had a little, like, kind of a Where's Waldo hidden mm -hmm. thing, right? And I said, if anyone can call it out, there's a prize. And or in the comment section, notice that I had seventh generation. I still don't know how she did that. Yeah. I still don't know. Because I read the description, but there's yeah. still no way I would have put two and two together yeah, but and figure it out. She figured it out, so whenever I draw, and she was cool because she's like, great job. Because she's like, she noticed in this video I'm about to get to, uh, when I did my VCLT, yellow background, if you look back, uh, giving ends to my friends that feels <laughs> feels stupendous, whatever it was, video. Right? I don't keep up with these things. But so I was drawing VCLT, and then uh, I just, I showed the VCLT, and for anyone who actually stuck around, I said, hey, by the way, all you gotta do is stick around and say, hey, bud, I'm still with you, and you're eligible for a prize, right? That's all it was. That's all you had to do. You didn't have to make a video. Anyone who already made a video, that's it, right? So, you know, even with the prize winners and the second chance and all that, and uh, some people were like, hey, man, thanks. I just did the video for fun. Uh, don't even worry about re-entering me. Whatever. Cool. 40 people are eligible. Eight, eight, you know, eight people are ride or die, right? 
So, uh, we'll get to that, but first, since, uh, VCLT started this, I got, um, I got, um, gifts here. This one is from, uh, uh no, this one's from Rod. Wow. So, uh, hey, uh, <clears throat> Big Eric, hey, one more time, I want to thank you for the DVD. Uh, we watched it right after open it, really enjoyed it, hope you like these, man. Peace, Rod. Right on, man. Whatever it is, I appreciate the love, man. It's not even about the actual what you're receiving. So, anyways, here we go. And then, uh, oh, I don't know if you... I sent him a... Uh, I was flipping, and I found an unopened DVD of a 4th of July concert for Grateful Dead. He's a big oh, deadhead. Okay. Right? And uh, so I sent him a concert just to get in time for the 40th anniversary... No, I'm sorry, the 30th anniversary of that concert... For this Independence Day. Wow. Because I'm a nerd. <laughs> Alright. And so. We're nerds. He kind of he, he told me what's coming up. Oh, dude, this is so cool. He told me he was sending, uh, sending me um, 12 inch wrap. Um, dude, I, I'm super. Okay, so. I'm just going to put that right there. Gotta show it, gotta show it. Yeah, you gotta show it. I'm sorry, the, I got distracted. I'm just. I'm, I don't, I'm not familiar with that, right? Kenny Dope, Johnny D, Nikki P, Marcus Schultz, Scribble and Razor, Ty I have no idea I who that is. I actually love that you're not familiar with it. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar this with that. Is, this is but great. this, Never Leave Me Alone, and then the radio edit for Nate Dog. So, is that Snake Dog? No, that's what? Nate Dog. What is that? That's oh. Nate Dog. If I'm not mistaken, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Is Nate Dog Snoop Dogg's cousin? No, Warren G is Snoop Dogg's cousin. And, um... Nate Dogg was his homeboy, and that's how they all got intertwined. intertwined this at, is yeah. Snoop Dogg, right there. Yeah, yeah featured, oh, featured, featured Snoop Dogg. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. But, uh, featured. and then just another day. Here's a Death Row 12-inch single. Get with the wickedness. So I'm super, I'm, I'm super interested in that. And look at that. That is old school. That's straight out of my youth, right? So uh, this is ultimately a contest drawn. Much love to uh, Rod. The happy hippo, hot happy hippie. <laughs> Please subscribe. And then I think I know what one of these is. This is from uh, Gary from Gary's Vinyl Dungeon. Mm -hmm. And so um, he told me one of which was coming, and I already broke him off my email. I already own this. So it's cool. Big shout out and love to um, to Gary, Gary's Vinyl Dungeon. Please subscribe. Good dude. Shows metal. Big Bob Dylan fan. Shows folk, 80s music, pretty eclectic taste of music, and he's got a rat parrot. I miss my parrot, Rico. I had a parrot named Rico. Yeah, he was. Really? Yeah, a parrot named Rico, yeah. Okay. He was killed by the family dog. My grandma had a parrot. Yeah, a little tragic, right? So I haven't seen these other ones, so let me not look too quick. I have this already, and what's really cool is I have a heavy metal contest coming up, anyways. So I'm keeping this one. I'm gonna. Uh, this looks like about the same condition. This one's mine, just because I know where it came from, it's and that, it. now it's sentimental. Mm -hmm. So the one I already own is going to become part of a um, heavy metal contest, and then I'm going to give credit to Gary, and hopefully get some exposure, and then also some mm -hmm. metal bros in the VC, vinyl community, music community, metal community. They get out there. And then, oh, dude, this is super cool, I love man. the color. Wow, dude, that's super they dope, dude. It. I am, I am. <laughs> it's, uh, you can tell by the, it's the gorillas. Love it. That is super freaking cool, man. Those colors are awesome. Yeah, those that colorway. I don't know. I got all these bright lights on. I don't know how well it's gonna go. And let me pull this, this out of the. I feel like that's something that would look awesome under black lights. Yeah, pink and blue. Yeah, up. that is you super need a dope. Blue black dude. Light for that. 2018. Dude, that's even wow. their label. Even their labels. That's I'm just awesome. holding it up right this way, but. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Their extension of uh, Blur, the British band. So it's on um, Vinyl Douche's favorite, you know, this is, it looks to me, you see that? That's a half black, half black of black splatter. It's very <laughs> rare. It's a very rare combo, color combo. And then, oh man, we were talking about Crocus. And then uh, I do not have this one. That's super, super cool, man. I am wow. all about that. And then once again, he hit me with another Crocus. I don't have it on the Arista label. Damn, this looks nice, dude. I have this one already. And so he's just uh, blindsided me with a gift. So that's appreciated. You never know what someone else has. But once again, I'm going to keep this one because, man, that looks freaking nice. And so, uh, Gary, you're the man, dude. Anyways, let me stop ogling gifts here. But I'm keeping that. And then I guess this Blitz, uh, by the way, this has um, 
Midnight Maniac was the fun. See, I'm just nerding out already. I see. I, I already, I already own this, and I'm already nerding out. But this has a Midnight Maniac on it on the A side, and then Ballroom Blitz, which was that sweet. Hair. Which was sweet. And then my favorite version of Ballroom Blitz is um, Tia Carrera on the um, uh, Wayne's World soundtrack. They tried to make her a star, and she might have blown up, but her videos on MTV, they just had these really terrible like edit breaks for like forced comedy. With like uh, Wayne and Garth being like extra Wayne and Garthy. <laughs> if anyone remembers that video, if anyone's in their thirties and remembers that, all right. So let's get at it. the eight people that were ambitious and getting after it, right? So uh, she's gonna fold them up, and she's like I say, she's my Veronica uh, Blanca. So um, and then I'm just gonna let this music play out. Um, super happy to be listening to it. This uh, Mars Volta, freaking love it. All right. So uh, what are the coolest things, right? So I had forty some entries or whatever it was. I forgot my buddy Chris has the spins, <laughs> and so he, he ended up as a uh, default winner. It's cool. He's already he got. He was really upset about it afterwards. Yeah. Like, how did I do that? Yeah. How did I miss? <laughs> so what's super cool is that um, Jenny at B sides. Here, let me go and show right here. Jenny at B sides. So you're you're the folder. Uh, which is cool. And we we have you a lot have a of preference for. Just you know, I mean yeah that's that's all good. Then they're all as long as they're all the same shape and everything's everything's up and up right. Um, she has this on her wall. This is just a refrigerator magnet for me. Mm -hmm. The invisible magnet. Uh, invisible magnet. She... <laughs> the invisible magnet. No, 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 no. Dude, Hope you can see it. What's holding that piece of paper on the fridge? <laughs> it's the invisible magnet. So she but, has the actual artwork. Yeah, she is. She has like a poster, okay. kind of like I have this in the same line of this uh, mummy poster that I'm blocking <laughs> with my girth. But so she has that framed, and okay. uh, what's so cool is that she's like made a video and she's like, "Hey, man, I missed your contest, right?" Mm -hmm. And you know, and I was like, oh, super cool. And she made a video entry anyways and showed Alien. Aww. And she's really crafty mm -hmm. like myself where she made pottery and painted some stuff. <laughs> it was super, super, super cool, right? And she didn't have to do that. And so uh, everyone was eligible. And she, you know, showed up in the, on the video and said, howdy doody. And I was like, hey, look, you know, you're eligible, you know, mm -hmm. so just so you know. And she's like, I'm with you, right? So and everyone else in the mix here, I just had to give her a particular shout out. Because everyone else got a shout out when I did my official drawing, right? So, uh, 12 minutes. We're not doing horrendous. All right? Not. And I'm sorry the lovely lady's not talking. I'm trying to just plow through this because at the end of the day... I'm like trying to, trying to get words in if you Yeah, yeah so here. I'll take a sip and then you can speak. Oh, but I don't even know what to say about it. I don't have things planned like you. I don't have a I list. Don't, I don't have things planned. See, that's the thing. How about this? The, the pea is neither a pea... The peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. Discuss amongst yourselves. <laughs> From Saturday Night Live. Okay, all right. Well, Saturday Night Live because I'm a, I'm a nerd, and then I was talking about Michael and you, Myers. And you show it every possible yeah. chance that yeah. you get. Yeah. I love it. Comic books and Skeletor. But um, El Caxi, 1971. Yeah. Bow down. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we became friends because I was wearing a vinyl verse, not a vinyl verse. I'm so dumb. Because uh, I'm, I'm reading in front of me. It is late because mm -hmm. someone was running late. I okay. drove from Florida for this man. Yeah, and this is a, this seven seven drawing is going to be on seven eight. People deal with it. Um, it's going to be all right. But uh, no, I don't think anyone's like I rate. I refuse the prizes. No, I refuse no, the prizes. This is not done yeah. in timely fashion. Yeah. But uh, so, anyways, uh, I was wearing a thing shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, back to El Caxi. That's how mm -hmm. we became friends. And I was reading ahead. So Bill at the vinyl verse. Which is uh, one of my um, jazz brethren in the uh, vinyl community. So um, yeah, we're, we're you know we're talking about some stuff, and uh, he's a good dude, and everyone likes him. Why wouldn't they? He's the nicest guy ever, right? So Rob Walker at Let the Music Play. Mm -hmm. So you are in the mix. Appreciate it, my friend. Uh, and we he just dropped a video about his opinion on the Beatles. What if they did or didn't exist, and so on. Mm -hmm. We share some opinions that we both respect the Beatles. But they're maybe not the yeah. in the stratosphere beyond all other thing in music. All right, not that you don't respect them, not that you don't like them, not that I don't own them and listen to them. But maybe, just maybe. I never understood them. The Beatles aren't the single greatest thing that ever happened. All right. But it would be no Mafalda. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Mazzy. But uh, okay. And then also, oh, better luck this time. Uh, Brian's Vinyl Records got picked first. It's happened to me. Last time, so uh, he's back in the mix, and um, he's a newer guy to the VC. 
He hasn't had that many videos. He's had like sub fifty subscribers. Mm -hmm. He's a good dude. Eclectic music. I haven't got to watch it yet. I got to go back. I've been short on time with this being a chef and holiday mm -hmm. weekend and everything. But he just did a uh, artist showcase on Metallica, and he's did a couple a uh, couple other uh, artists. So uh, Brian's Vinyl Records. Um, check him out. Uh, by all means. A dude you should know, a fellow nerd, uh, Tim, DJ High Noon. And then if you guys don't know, this is my handwriting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not her handwriting, looks no. like. Very cute. Your handwriting doesn't look very cute. No, mine is awful, Yeah, it's, actually. yeah. But uh, also, uh, newer to the vinyl community, uh, a horror individual, David Newton. Thanks for, uh, nice. thanks for staying in the mix. <laughs> and then, um... I'm checking to make sure I got everyone there. So, uh, Brad, H2 Vinyl. Brad, if you're watching this video, keep in touch, man. You said you're going to Asheville in the near future for a concert. If the schedule works out and I can go to the concert, I'd love to. If not, we're still going to have a VC meetup, whether it's in Greenville or I can shoot up there, whatever. We'll figure it out, right? But so, uh, Brad, Tim, David, El Caxi, Jenny at B-Sides, Build the Vinylverse, Rob Walker... Brian's Vinyl Records. If I've screwed up again, someone else gets a free prize. Uh, if you want, feel free to go back to that Me in the Sunroom um, video. <laughs> uh, I think I'm a big dumb meathead wearing a uh, Run Your Car, uh, Not Your Mouth t-shirt. Because I'm a, I'm a nerd that likes fast cars. Car nerd, comic book nerd, movie nerd, <laughs> music nerd. All kind of nerd. Alright, so um, anyways... Cheers to you guys. Good luck, everyone. And uh, same as it always is, we're going to we're gonna pull till... Uh, Pull till win. That's it, you know? So, failure after failure right. until there's victory. So, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Are we ready? And, ooh, that was like a twofer. That was... Okay. The vinyl verse is out. Sorry, brother. There you go. Brad, Ooh. you are out. Sorry, I'm not getting Paul. I'm not getting apologies. Everyone knows I love everyone, so I, I don't feel bad if you don't win. We, we got you got friendship, and that's what this is all about. Nice. El Caxi. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna interrupt you for one second. I got very few snooker f uh, friends uh, in the world. You know, there's okay. not a whole lot of snooker people uh, here in South Carolina. So, uh, hey, El Caxi is a snooker uh, a snooker fan. So, yeah, the Rockets, the man. But. Uh, yeah, I made a, a hilarious rocket joke like two, three months back uh -huh. that I thought was a ripper. Dustin looked at me like, blink, blink, blink. What does that mean? And then nobody, video, 300 views, nobody even, no. nobody. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Did that make you feel extra smart? No, it makes me feel more like obscure and like esoteric, which is a word I've been saying a whole bunch lately because I got mocked <laughs> for saying it. So now I'm just like. Trying to just, like, instill I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to assume it's something disrespectful. Jenny! I'm sorry, Jenny. And by the way, I know it's your summertime, but, you know, we miss you. Make a video. But, um, <laughs> what is next? David Newton. Rock on. All right, we're down to three. We're down to three. Woo! Drum roll. Tim! DJ High Noon. Sorry, bud. Mm. Uno. Rob Walker, let the music play. Sorry, bud. You okay, are out. So that, that means the grant. Somebody paying attention. Dude, that is so, so priceless. Dude, I think things. I really do think some things are like serendipitous. They work out for a reason. So my man was the first drawn last time. He was. A, he was a. There's no conspiracy. They she's got, she's nope. drawn right out of the bucket. Everything's in your eyes. It's a I'm one no shot. Magician. One shot, no edit. You're the winner. And you know what? Freaking gonna pause this. Under 20 minutes. Awkward. Under 20 minutes. Ah! Woo!